Well, holy smokies, guys, we have two big news stories in relation to Tesla that have come out over the past few hours. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at those. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you enjoy Tesla videos, all right? Let's start getting into this, guys. So first off, the markets today had an okay day, okay? Dow was up about 0.3%, S&P 500 was up about 0.45%, NASDAQ was up about 0.75%. And so overall, the markets did pretty decent today, but then you look at Tesla stock, and Tesla stock had a terrific day, okay? Up 3.85%. 5% today, up nearly $9 per share. And the stock closed out at about $238.92, which is right around the highest Tesla stock has been in quite a while. If we recall, like Tesla was at about $180 bucks, like just a month and a half ago or so, okay? If I look at my two biggest accounts that I hold Tesla shares in, we're actually positive on both of them now, okay? So 150 shares, we're now actually up 5%, $1,700. Bucks. And then my other account where I hold the second most Tesla the shares were up about 11.64% in that particular account, up 2,300 bucks. And so I'm definitely thrilled with the price action that has happened in Tesla over the past month. It was just getting ugly, ugly, ugly. For basically, you know, December, the stock was in the 300s. Then it went all the way down to about 180. Obviously, a lot of us took advantage of that buying opportunity. I know I did. I know a lot of you guys did when the stock was falling 220, 210, $200 a share, 190, 180. I've seen screenshots from a lot of the people in my stock market membership group, and they've been showing me screenshots shots of like they were buying at 180, 190, 200 dollars and now they're actually you know very much in the green so congrats to all you guys but if you're really on this for the, the, the super long term right like the next five to ten years um, hopefully we get a lot better gains than what we've gotten so far okay now to the two big news stories that have come out this first one's a monster okay it says an internal email sent to employees dated July 9th from Jerome Gillen who is the president of automotive at Tesla one of the highest ranking employees at Tesla said the company is making preparations to raise output at its factory in Fremont, California. And he said, quote, while we can't be too specific in this email, I know you will be delighted for the upcoming developments Gillen said. And that's according to a report by Bloomberg, which claims to have seen a copy of the email, okay? Now, we don't know exactly what's going on there. Now, is this maybe them putting in some robots of some kind to get rid of some redundant tasks or something like that? Is this them making better production lines that are even more efficient and they're able to produce even more vehicles? And although we've heard that Tesla's producing the vehicles in the most efficient manner by far they ever have, as well as, you know, having the highest production they ever have, we have to wonder what exactly is going on there. Do they maybe want to get to a place where they're producing 10 thousand plus cars a week or is it maybe preparations for model y we don't know but obviously there's something going on there that they want to increase production which is obviously very good news for the company and i love this clean technica post here it shows kind of like what short sellers were saying along the way okay you go back to q1 2018 they were like oh that's production peak and then at 18,400 in q2 2018 oh it's a production peak they're gonna have bankruptcy and then in q3 2018 they were saying oh it's a demand cliff then in q before, they were like, oh, well, it's a demand cliff for sure. And then the deliveries actually did drop. And they're like, aha, we were right. It was the cliff, okay? And then this past quarter, deliveries absolutely go insane. And, and a lot of the shorts are just lost at this point in time. They're like, oh, what the heck? So now really the only thing they have to go off of is like the company's not profitable. That's really all they can go off of. Now at this point in time, because if you're looking at the production numbers and the delivery numbers Tesla's putting up, they're unbelievable. And that's with Tesla Shanghai still coming. Keep in mind like Tesla Shanghai is opening in probably three to six months and that in my opinion is going to make the production numbers and delivery numbers go sky high to all new records okay and then oh my gosh Model Y is coming next year holy smokes if you're a short seller what do you really have to go on at this point okay then we had this controversial news story that came out here today actually this came out about two hours ago electric reported it and it says Tesla employees are not getting their bonuses despite record quarter okay it says Tesla achieved a new record quarter for deliveries in part due to pushing its North America sales and delivery teams to deliver 33,000 vehicles in June alone. 
However, Tesla told employees that they missed a goal by 200 cars and it looks like they won't be getting their bonuses, okay? So this is very, very interesting. You know, there's a lot of different opinions and I was kind of reading through the comments of like that electric post and I saw a lot of negative comments kind of in relation to Tesla's move here. And by the way, I want to hear your guys' opinion down there in the comment section. And let me kind of give my opinion on this. So Tesla had this goal that basically the employees were going to get a nice bonus if they hit that 33,000. They came up about 200 cars short okay and so all the employees were gonna get this big bonus but they didn't because they were 200 cars short so there are kind of a few frames of thought here okay let's say the employees met it by just 200 let's say they beat it by 200 does Tesla say oh we're not gonna pay you now because you guys only beat by 200 no of course Tesla would pay it okay so you have 200 and you have a lot of people I was reading in the comments a lot of people are saying hey man you know what the Tesla should pay those employees they came really close to the bonus they were only 200 cars off Tesla Tesla should pay those employees, okay? They should pay them out those bonuses. And that kind of leaves me with, you know, where do you kind of draw your line in the sand? Because the line in the sand was supposed to be 33,000, right? And the employees came up 200 short of that number, right? And so the question is, where do you draw your line in the sand? What if they were 250 cars short? Do you then give them the bonus? Or do you say, no, now you're too far away? What about 300 cars? What about 400 cars? What about 500? What is the number that they are close enough to go ahead and say, um, you know, even though you didn't hit the hit the, the line in the sand, we're still going to give you that. That's a really tough thing, okay? And if you're dealing with a big company and bonus structures, I actually like this one uh, quite a bit, okay? So this person says, where I worked, the bonus was linear, okay? So if you hit 100% target, you got 100% bonus. If you hit 95%, you got a 75% bonus. If you hit 90%, you got a 50% bonus. If you hit 85% target, you got a 25% bonus. And uh, anything, basically 80% of the target or less, you got a zero bonus. And then personally, I that's actually a bonus structure I like if you're a really big company because you put the employees where they get something if they get really close to that number, right? And when you have hundreds of employees or thousands of employees who are maybe counting on that bonus, it is in my opinion a better thing rather than have a whole bunch of employees maybe mad at the company or something like that, okay? Now, I, I notice uh, some people not understanding Tesla in the comment section of Electric's page, which makes me kind of baffled because I think people forget something about Tesla, okay? They were all saying, you know, the Tesla should pay this. This is Tesla being greedy, Tesla's management team is being greedy, you know, this and that, kind of talking down Tesla. And I just got to remind people, this is the last four years of Tesla's net loss, okay? Net loss is what this is. Four years ago, they lost $888 million on the bottom line. Three years ago, they lost $674 million on the bottom line, okay? Two years ago, they lost $2 billion on the bottom line, almost $2 billion on the bottom line. And this past year, they lost almost a billion dollars on the bottom line, okay? And so I'm seeing this and I'm seeing people acting like Tesla's got all this money coming in, okay? Let me tell you something about Tesla. There would be no such thing as a Tesla employee. There would be no such thing as a possible bonus or, or employees getting paid hourly wages or there'd be no such thing as Tesla if it were not for investor money up until this point of time, okay? The fact is Tesla has lost money each and every year in the only the only thing that has gotten the company to this point where maybe in the next year or two, maybe they can start making a profit. The only thing that has gotten the company to this point is Elon Musk being able to raise money either from banks or from investors. And that is a fact, that is not opinion, okay? Without the investors and without the banks, there would be no such thing as a Tesla car. There would be no such thing as a Model 3. There would be no such thing as a Model X, a Model S, or a Tesla employee, or a possible bonus, or anything like that. And that is just factual information, okay? So I, I just wanna calm everybody down. Oh, Tesla's being greedy. Okay, Tesla's being greedy for what? Losing a billion dollars last year? And while investors have either had to take loss on their shares or go down on their shares, all while the employees were still making money, the employees were still getting paid their wages, constantly and only because of the investors and only because of Elon Musk's ability to raise money from the capital markets or from from banks. So it baffles me that the ignorance that people are like, oh my gosh, Tesla's so greedy. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? You're calling Tesla greedy? That's absolutely ridiculous. This is not Apple. This is not Google. This is not Microsoft. This is not Amazon or some big, huge corporation that's profiting tens of billions of dollars a year or something like that. You can say, wow, they, the employees came up so close and they didn't give them. And look at that company. They made $40 billion last year. 
Tesla just lost a billion dollars last year. Elon Musk says the company came within weeks of bankruptcy last year, and yet you're gonna call this company greedy? That's just a pure lack of understanding of business and what goes into a business model that people are acting like Tesla just has all this money to just pay out to employees even if they don't hit bonuses. So in my personal opinion, I think Tesla needs to like, you know, change their bonus system because they're a bigger company. I think it will be better for the company overall. And uh, honestly, the people that are mad for Tesla Tesla not paying out bonuses when the employees didn't hit the bonus line, but they got somewhat close to it. People that are mad at that, I say, go look at Tesla's financials for the history of the company and then come back to me and tell me Tesla's greedy, okay? So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I still wanna hear your opinion down there in that comment section as always about either of these. I would love to hear from you guys as always, all right? Thank you for watching and have a great day.